Welcome back. Did you have news? I delivered the package. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? He said you'd hear from them soon. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. How much you pay no. me? Jean Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Okay. Hey, Jean Baptiste, what's up? Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. But for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who is this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. It's Cass. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Cass? She's in the Mojave Outpost. Really? NCR all around her. Well, tell you what. You find a way to bring her here. She'll want to hear what I have to say. Why don't you do it? I got business here. Need to watch the shop, make sure things are running smoothly. Besides, if I came for the girl, I'm not all friendly and charming like you are. She might get the wrong idea. Anything you can say to her, you can say to me. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on, try. What'd you want to talk to her about? If your answer isn't yes, I'll bring her here, or no, I won't because Gloria had me pegged wrong, then we're done here. All right, I'll do it. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Fuck, I can't remember. I think this is a bad thing. I remember. I remember killing everybody in here at one point. I think it's because they want to kill her. He said they just want to talk. But Cass will have nothing of it. And I think I gotta dismiss Boone. I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta send Boone on his way if I want Cass to come with. So let's go on over there. Way south. That's a bit of a, a bit of a walk. But yeah, she won't join me unless Boone's here. Or Boone goes away. But she's good with a hunting rifle too. I can always grab Boone later anyway. I can grab whoever the hell I want at any time. That's the good thing. It'd be way cooler if you could just bring everybody. That way you'd be unstoppable. More people causes more problems though. Totally, I get that. So I'm pretty sure Cass is gonna be like, uh, fuck that. That's her first name. So her real name is technically Rose. Sharon Cassidy was probably the mother. That's probably mom's name. Hey, Rose. There she is. How's it going? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Jean Baptiste and Freeside wanted to meet with you. Jean Baptiste? Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? He's with the Van Graffs. The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs... He should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. Wait, what? You come around like a bat. Don't know. You got. All right. Sorry, Boondog. 
What is it? I guess I, uh, hold on. I think we should part ways for now, Boone. If that's what you think. Shed back home. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. That's Boone's perk. Okay, so now we can get her to join. You come around like a bat. Okay, he's with the Van Graffs. You're looking at... No, it hold on. That fucking monument outside? Don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the East. Ha. If the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be <coughs> worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood. Don't seem to be nothing to brag about. Covered in blood. I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull. Which, by my reckoning, is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. What are they supposed to be? One's a ranger, one's an NCR trooper. Supposed to represent unification of West and East. Or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. I think they're both rangers. One, de one desert, one NCR. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you're right. Broom tats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the Mojave now. All right. Oh, shit. What we do now? You can come with me. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? You really want to stay in this shithole? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. And that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Whiskey Rose perk. All right, Cass, let's go. I remember in my uh, first series, when I played this uh, originally, I did get Cass as a follower. She was my first one. I had missed Boone completely. I don't want her to kill. I don't want to. I don't want him to kill her. We'll see what happens. I. I think you can stop it, but he wants to do something. I know it's not good. A man like that doesn't just want to talk to her for the sake of talking. He said he would, but I may have to defend. I can let. I'm given the choice though, and the choice when I take out all the McGraths, Van Graffs, I get all their fucking guns. You bet your ass I do. You with me, Cass? Yep. Hell, maybe I will use Cass for a little while. Give Boone a rest, and if I want Boone again, I'll go get him. But she's she's good with a weapon, too. Really, Cass? Come on. Don't be stupid. There you go. You with me still? So I'll save before we go in just to be safe. You never know. Working with Cass. Rose of Sharon Cass City. So her name is technically Rose of Sharon Cassidy Cassidy. Is her mom on, like, drugs? But hey. Rose is a fine name. Nothing really wrong with it. Where's the new guy, huh? Huh, Gloria? I thought you had a new guy in here. I just remember, you can let her be killed, but you never get her ever again. And that's the negative side. So you still get the actual we achievement you progress. Closely. You get the achievement progress for being with Cass. Alright, what's up? As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy. The late Rose of I knew it. Sharon Cassidy. 
Was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's well, ours, and we're shutting you down for good. You shoot, you'll regret it. Really? We'll see about that. I knew it. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, fuck, that fucked him up. Oh my god, I'm dead! That was my fault. I can at least take their armor for next time, it's much better. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna met up. Let's see, buff out. Maybe some jet. No, medex. There we go. You? All right, we're ready. As I live in. You shoot, you'll regret it. Oh, I don't want that. Whatever, we'll take it. What the fuck? I broke it. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, come on! Damn it. I gotta back up, I think. Even with buff out, it didn't do shit. Alright. See, when you say bring the Cassidy girl, that totally sounds good. Um... Damage. We'll also do medex, right? So I'll hit the medex. As I live and breathe. You shoot, you'll regret it. Back up. Come on, Cass. Use it, use it! Oh my gosh. No, 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 stop. I need his armor. Quick! Alright, stim up. Take that, the combat armor. Cast is out. No, not that. What is it again? This thing is completely broken. Um, the combat armor. Dibs. 238. That weighs 10 pounds. Oh, I'm dead, man. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, come on! Fuck. What's going on? Whoa! That was weird. Son of a bitch. You know what? I'm going to equip myself a grenade, I think. Something of that nature. Let's see what we got. Grenade or dynamite? That would really fuck them up. Oh, hold on. Let's let's get let's get stimmed up.
Um, Psycho, Med X, and Buff Out. As I live and breathe. Crap. This is bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, hold on. Prototype. I may have to drop diff on this one too. I don't know why it's so goddamn hard. Is there something for energy weapons? Yes. Oh my god! What? Oh my- Dude, this is seriously getting annoying. I can't beat these guys. I'm gonna have to drop it. It's just causing death, 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 death. Ugh. I hate it when I have to do this. because my armor is ass. That's exactly why. Stop it. This thing never breaks though, which is good. That doesn't weigh anything. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Buff out. Med X. What else? Psycho, right? These fuckers are going down. As I live in. It's the thing is, though. It's merged with the Crimson Empire, so it's completely wrong. She's in the way. I'm going for buddy. Through the post! I gotta take his armor. What was I dropping? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Uh, peril. I gotta use the two armors. To get even better condition. And my plasma weapon. Stay away. She's done. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, there you go. It fucked him up. I'm going to need another stim. Sister's already dead anyway. Oh shit. Come on, cutting. Down, son! See, and that stops that storyline dead. But look at these weapons. Like, you can literally just take every weapon you fucking want to.
It's awesome. All right. So jail, I guess. Are you fucking high right now? What's the problem? My father had heart problems and it ran down the family tree to me. Not looking to have my heart skip its last beat even if I considered putting that junk in my system, which I don't. Had some questions. Where'd you get that pendant? Gift from my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of mom's tribal necklaces, but no, came from dad. Your mother was a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west too. NCR's herding them up though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Ha. Huh. That's one way to put it. Didn't ask mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. What about your dad? Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any idea why he went what? East? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Where do you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. And where'd you learn how to handle dynamite? Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Any other weapons you know how to use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. All right, let's move on. All right, then. Okay, hold on. Um... Okay, so I'm sorry, I was just like looking at the information on this. And I think this was the best way. I've never actually not killed anybody. Well, Gloria, hello. Like, this is where the fun is. Like, I can take everything off of this. Stop f fucking doing that. Taking fucking everything, man. I don't care. That's how I roll. That's the good side about killing these guys. You get a lot from them. I don't need any of these grenades. I will take all their ammo though.
320. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to drop some stuff or fix. That's how they do business. Anyway. Um, let's look at the weapons here. Damage of 41, 145. So, the ones I did take are better for it. I may have to drop the incinerator. It weighs a fuckload. Multiplast rifle. Look at this thing. Okay, recharge your pistol, like, I think it's quite damaged, though. Then there's the tri-beam, it's way better. Damage per second, 221, the damage on it, 26 times 3. Which is way better than my, where is it here? The prototype, well, this is a rare one. How much does this weigh? Eight and a half pounds. I feel like I'll have to sell some stuff. Still 30 pounds over the limit. Okay, I'm gonna drop the stuff that's not gonna do me good. This dynamite's way better. Only weighs .30. Uh, let's go to the bottom. I'd like to sell the prototype. There's, see, the thing is, I'd rather sell everything. Oh, fuck, man. If I had that uh, extra perk where I could carry extra stuff. I'm going to drop this pistol. I'll have no use for it. Stuff I don't really have a, a value, you know, that doesn't have value. This is worth a lot. Like, look at that money. This is worth a lot. It's not even fully repaired yet. Lever action shotgun. I don't need that many shotguns, so I'm going to drop it. Well, yeah, we'll drop that. 56. This is worth a lot of money. I got to sell stuff, man. I really do. The multiplast. I got to see this thing. Look at this crazy ass thing I guess I could slowly walk my way places don't know what good it's gonna do up the combat armor I guess I don't think it's going to get any better than 15. Laser pistol, don't need it. Damn. Tell me the key doesn't have that? You can get a deal of their of what they're doing. Maybe I should drop some uh Apparel. Yeah, that's what I should do. Drop that. Oh, it's only one pound over. So, in that case, we'll take... Oh, snap. Mm. 
This stuff's good for sale. Anything I could drop? There's like nothing I can drop, yo. Drop the spacesuit. It's the spacesuit, though. Oh, it's not worth anything, though. So get rid of it. Alright. There we go. We can finally run. Oh, dear. Oh, that was buff out. Damn. Alright, so what's my weight draw? 20. Fuck. Should I drop the armor? I think so. It's 20 pounds. There we go. I don't need that shit anymore. 